In a half mile, the destination is ahead. It's nice here, isn't it, baby? Everything is like so clean and the landscaping is all perfect. Yeah, hotels like everywhere. Look at this sign. It tells you how many spots are open. One and two are full, so we got to go to three, four, or five. All right, so here we are. We just parked here, guys, in the line. And by the way, it uh, it's free. It's free parking, and this whole experience here at Disney Springs is free, as it should be. So it's good. They got security here, guys. You walk through that detectors there, and they stopped Svetlana. I'm not sure what the reason is, but she got a bag. They do a bag check. What? He took the water? He was looking at your no, water? No, my case glasses. It's a glasses so case. Show them something that I might carry something like. My glasses? I know. I got this big bag here. I thought for sure I was getting stopped. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I watched the video on YouTube just to get an idea because I remember the old Disney Village that I used to go to, but I had never been here. Check it out, guys. Check it out. It's a festive atmosphere. Oh, well, I hope he doesn't fly away with all those balloons. This is where we're parked, the uh, Lime Garage. She's gonna shop till she drops. They got some really cool stores. It's really laid out nicely, but they also got some uh, really good eateries and bars and things, so we will partake in this journey. So guys, among our missions today, to find Reggie's Revenge. It's a radioactive drink that this place is known for. Let's see if we can find it and try one. We have a quest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this. Looks like an old subway station. Cool, baby. It's like the uh, open marketplace in Latvia, right? Similar. Bar is open. No, I, I, I'm going to keep walking, baby. We could, we could do better than that. We get to experience something together for the first time. I love it. Here's the Coca-Cola store. Let's walk in it. Coca-Cola makes things taste better. Coke squeezy, stress can. It reminds me of Popeye. Remember when Popeye used to eat spinach and he used to squeeze it and the spinach would come out and pop into his mouth? Diet Coke. Oh, no. Walking around with a Diet Coke hat? Splurge and go for the Coca-Cola. I will say that Coca-Cola though probably has the greatest branding of any company of all time. Disney's a close second. I know Coca-Cola, I mean the logo, the trademark colored red, it is awesome. It makes you want to drink one. Coca-Cola baseballs, look at this. That's what the Mets have been trying to hit all year. I wonder if Modelo has a store. What what I, I did? Idea to... Oh, you don't want me going on that thing? No. Why? What could happen, baby? I don't know. It's not a submarine. It's not good to uh, Oh, it's fine, baby. It is. It's not risky. It's fine. The thing goes up all the time. It's Disney. They're gonna make sure it's safe. Don't worry. I want it. So here's the STK Steakhouse. But baby, I want to check this place out. See, there's a Ento's Hideaway. And tunnel bar. Check this place out, guys. Lunch, 11.30 to 3.30. Yes, baby, I'm sure they have salads. So look, guys, look, see? Cucina, Romana. It's, it's almost like a speakeasy, secret entryway type of deal. Look, they even have this, it doesn't open, but you know. You have to say the secret password, swordfish. Hey, what's the matter, you don't understand English? You can't come in here unless you say swordfish. 
Now I'll give you one more guess. Swordfish. Swordfish. I think I got it. Is it swordfish? <laughs> That's it. You guess it. Which way do I go? You gotta go down that way. Go that way? Yeah, so it's like it's like the scene in the movie Goodfellas, right? <laughs> I follow right through here. Look at this. Okay. I hope you guys are seeing this because it's really dark in here, but it's very cool. Oh baby, this is really cozy in here. in here guys all right so I think this winds around you keep going kitchen back in there you got the meats hanging here look at this all right baby pick something out what do you have for lunch oh that salami is looking pretty good right there yeah well they got meat hanging hanging it's got to be cold look at the cheese look at all that that's got my name on it barefoot cheese are you cold already? It's true though, it's so hot outside you come in here and it's freezing. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue the walk. Baby, look. Come here. Where'd she go? She got lost. Look, look, and then you go through this door. See the restrooms, but you go through here. It's another secret passage. See? It says restroom. But don't let that fool you. Look, see? Keeps going. Look at this. All right. I think we have entered another establishment. That looks like George Bailey's suitcase. Remember from the trip that he never took? Wonderful life. Oh, look, Joe. Oh, look. I want a big one! Look at this. This place is in the spirit of an old factory. Look at it. Is that like an old projector or something? Oh, I'm hoping you guys are able to see this. Look at this. This is a really cool bar here too, guys. Look at this. And they got all like circuitry on the walls and stuff to really make it look authentic. Can I ask you a quick question? What exactly is this place supposed to be? So it's supposed to be a power plant. A power plant? Yes, sir. Well, where did you come in? Came into the Italian restaurant. Came in for the speakeasy. Yes. If you were to go up them stairs and out to the right and back up about 20 feet and look up, it'll yeah. be in the shape of a power plant based off the yes. episode. Oh, I gotta check that out. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Of course. Take care. You too. Look at this, guys. This is really cool. And they got a stage here so they could have live music. Go upstairs and see what he's talking about. Ah, there you go. So I said factory. A power plant is a factory of sorts to produce power, right? But that's what this is a power plant. Very cool. It's supposed to be a power plant, baby. Like an old fashioned, old style power plant. Very cool. All right, let's continue exploring. How long has this been here, this place? Five years. It's been here for five years. Wow, so it's pretty new for something that looks so old. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the Steakhouse Paradiso 37. Is this the same thing we just came up from, only we were downstairs? I don't know, I'm confused. I see, so this is more of like their uh, pizza kitchen. Looks oh, good and say that. Pepperoni. 775. 
for a slice. I remember buying pizza for like 35 cents when I was a kid. Wait, Tony, two or three? Two, two, give me two, let's go. Boy, have times have changed. All right, we're walking right into the teeth of this storm. We're not gonna let no thunderstorms keep us from having a good time. Look at that, look at that flooding there. They got the right idea, just go for it. But I'm not going in the helium balloon just yet, guys. We'll wait for that to pass. Probably, you see it's closed, it's not even open. <laughs> Talk about a lightning magnet. You go up in that thing during one of these storms, you might as well hold a metal rod and have your feet in two buckets of water. Star Wars, Galactic Outpost. Do you like Star Wars, baby? Star Wars, what is Star Wars? I'm gonna just uh, take a peek in here and see what this joint is. I think it's some kind of a restaurant. Oh my. Oh guys, I'll tell you right now, it smells amazing in here. Like kind of a smoky kind of smell. What is it? Is it a sushi joint? What uh, what kind of food is this here? So it's from Spain. It's by the famous chef, Jose Andres. Oh, is that the uh, salt guy? No, no, that's, no a... that's Salt Bay. Oh, that's Salt Bay, sorry. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of specials going on. So it's tapa style. Uh, tapas where they bring you a lot of bunch of the little uh, little dishes and you get to sample a lot of different stuff. We have a special menu. This is once in a blue moon. So we have our daily specials. They're all kind of from a tour of Spain. Very cool. Uh, it's raining. Just you gotta want go back in. Show you guys the bowling alley here. The restaurant. Is it yeah, part of this? Yeah. It is. Thank you. Just walk over here real quick and show you. So yeah, guys, okay, I'm rolling here. All right, we got a decision. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna eat here. Rain, rain, go away. Don't ever come back any day. All right. I always do what the locals do. So what's the Disney beer? What are you guys known for? Lost beer. Lanes. Lost Lanes. Mm -hmm. Is any good? Okay, lost lanes. Let's go. Lost Hopefully it's not a lost cause. Yep. Welcome to Florida in the summer. All right. What did he call this thing? Split lanes. Cheers. Onward and upward. Guys, it's got a weird taste. I'm going to tell you right now. There's something in there, and I'm trying to put my finger on it, and I can't. It tastes like a bowling alley. It's good, though. Some kind of citrus, I guess. Can I taste it? Are we having fun? You want to taste my beer? Wow. They got the right idea. Just go for it. Just walk in the rain. I keep playing. I don't think the heavy stuff's going to come down for quite a while. Listen, look at this guy. So guys, we talk about coming to Florida, planning, going to Disney, and all that stuff. This is why people come here in the winter time. This is exactly why, because you won't be looking at pipes with that coming out of them. Look at that, look at that flooding there. You done yet? All right guys, I didn't know what to get. I went with the Super Tuna Sushi. And a cone of fries that will split. We all know how she loves french fries. What'd you get, baby? Uh, chicken cup salad. How did I not guess that one? A coffee to wash it all down with. Yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> Here comes our salad. How are you? Wow. Good. She's wow. happy now. Bon appetit. It's good. I got my beer. You didn't get your coffee. You got your salad. I didn't get my sushi. They're probably catching the fish right now. Catching the fish right now. <laughs> oh, that coffee.
coffee looks nice and piping hot, baby. Uh oh. I think I smell some sushi coming my way. What do we got? Super tuna? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that does look super. Oh, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, look, they give you this nice little dipping sauce right next to it. Let's try that, shall we? Here goes nothing. Mm. All right. We're in business, definitely. Let's chow. never get tired of watching me eat because I'll sure never get tired of eating. Okay, well, I wouldn't exactly say that it cleared up, but it stopped raining anyway. City Works, and what is this? The House of Blues. I have a restaurant also. This is the uh, merchandise store. Rubber biscuit. Look at that. What do you guys think? Shot to your drop. Want to go look at the House of Blues? Baby, don't worry. We'll go to Zara. I promise. Let's check this place out. Ah, Elvis in the house. Skinny Elvis. Oh, wow, cool. Wow. This is nice in here, guys. It's pretty cool. And, you know, it's not busy right now, as you can tell, but with the rain and everything, and also the time of day we're here, we're kind of in between. We come here at night, oh, the pizza looks good, and the fries, I love it. Look at this bar, guys. The voodoo stuff from New Orleans. Now look at the ceiling. Wow. Very cool. That's back in here. Oh, this just is another room they have right on the water there. Look at that. Oh, that takes a steady hand. Yeah, but if you come here at night and they have the live music and everything, bar crawl type of deal. That's a uh, that's a pretty popular way to go. But here now in the rain. All right, baby, let's go to your Zara. She's freezing. In Florida, though. Oh. <laughs> Art shaving? Oh, you could get a shave? I want to get a shave. You just want to watch me get a shave? this other side.
Guys, I think we found it. Reggie's home. Reggie's Revenge, right here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. So just like New Orleans is known for the hurricane, Key West is known for margaritas, this place has its own concoction. And there it is. All right, so got this drink here, guys. That looks like uh, Dr. Von Frankenstein's formulas to raise the dead. Look at this. Exactly sure what's in it. Our part of our quest on our journey today yes. was to find it and try it. Look at this. How cool is this? Hey, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. Do you mind? I'm. I've, I've heard about this drink. Go right ahead. So, what can you tell me about this legendary Reggie here? So, this is called the Reggie Revenge. It's Florida orange cane vodka, white cranberry juice, Midori Malt liqueur, and lime juice. Kind of tastes like a melted down sweet tart, but it is like refreshing. We serve it in our souvenir cup, just like a little beaker. It's a fan favorite. It's also on our happy hour from noon until three Monday through What do you get for one of those? It's a. This is well. I think it's twelve fifty on happy hour, right? And then fifteen fifty. All right, I'm gonna have to try one. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Who came up with this drink? Uh, John. It's his favorite. So tell me about the name, Reggie's Revenge. Where does that come from? So, Jock Lindsay is actually a character that's like 36 or 38 second character in the first Indiana Jones movie. Jock had a pet snake named Reggie, and when he's on the plane, he actually, Indy actually yells out, Jock, there's a snake in the plane! Remember. And Jock replies, Oh, that's just my pet snake, Reggie! I hate snakes, Jock! I hate him! I hate snakes, Jock! I hate him! Come on! Show a little backbone, will ya? Show a girl a little backbone, Indy! So, uh, so that's where the Reggie's Revenge came from. What is Florida, uh, Orange Cane Vodka? Orange Cane Vodka, what is that exactly? Uh, that is made from cane sugar and infused with oranges. Wow! She's doing her shopping, we're doing our thing. And Reggie is about to get his revenge. Look at that nice glass they give you. They, I think they, they let you, you, you can keep these glasses when you're done? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if it came with it. It doesn't come with it, but anyway, it looks nice, so it goes nothing. Wow, that's really good. It's kind of like Margarita Plus, right? In a way. That's why I tell people melted down sweet tart. That's what you really get. It's that, it's that the Midori melon liqueur really adds that sweet tart flavor. There's too. It says Reggie's Revenge, all glowy and bubbly and whatnot. People ask me all the time what it is. I tell them it's my fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm great at growing allergy. I'm just terrible at keeping fish. Either that or somebody's experiment that went yeah, wrong. Yeah, right? You know? Careful, you'll blow in the dark. <laughs> So if you look up on this back wall, you're actually going to see the Bermuda Triangle mapped out. Right. Um, and you see the fighter, fighter jets and things like that. So Jock went to find out what he could find because some of the uh, pilots were friends of his. Um, so he actually used this diving suit and this diving bell. Oh, I just noticed the diving suit up there. Yeah, look at that, guys. Stiff. He's been hanging around for a while. So now he kind of keeps it here as a tribute to those pilots in Flight 19. I see. A lot of the stuff that you're actually going to find around the bar. Oh, wow. Um, like we have a picture of the Tuskegee Airmen, we have Bessie Coleman, we have um, Amelia Earhart, we have Poncho Barnes. So a lot of the stuff that are here are actual pilots and explorers um, from around the world. This is really cool where they're dining in there right now. The way that a diving bell would work is this door would close. Obviously the bottom would close with it. It's missing that bottom part. But you see these vents in the bottom? Right. Um, there is a hose that would connect up top onto the ship. Right. The diving bell would be submerged. This right here, um, you would turn and the vents would fill with water. So it's basically like their old version of a submarine. It reminded me of the movie Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, yes. the last scene when he goes into the thing that breaks <laughs> through the roof. It kind of has that look about it. I've been here seven years. Every time I come in, I can always look around and notice something. Wow. So there's, it's, it's, no matter how long you come in here and you stare at everything, you're always going to find something. New. You're still learning every day yourself. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. Too. 
Gideon's Bakehouse. Wow. What's the line for? Uh, I hope it's worth it. It's like the line for Spirit Airlines. Ah, Raglan Road. Got an Irish pub here, guys. Hold on, let's walk in here. Is this an authentic Irish pub? This is the Irish pub, yes. Are you from Ireland? I am not from Ireland. That's okay, it's still authentic. <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out. I wanna show my friends at home. No worries, of course. Thank you. So they have that little trinket store first before you get to the pub. Every hat. Every hat with every different theme. You ready for a derby hat? Ah, oh, what do you say there, lad? I'll stick to the barefoot merch. Oh wow. I just stepped back in time. I feel like I'm on the Titanic. Look at this. I don't know the steps. Neither do I. Just go with it. Don't think. <laughs> Name a beer after one of those. Okay, I know the dad too. What do you get for a Panama like that? Uh, how much they cost? Yes, sir. Um, this is price, those ones would be like 120, and these ones are like 150. 150 bucks. Okay. Pay 10 bucks for one in Little Havana. This will fit yeah. a little better. Though. Yeah. Okay. All right. What size do you think you have? You got me. Uh, seven and a half? Seven and a half, I think. Yeah. There's a large number, right? Any uh, key to putting it on your head or just? Um, usually you want to pinch the top. Pinch the top. Okay. Pinch the top. Okay. You want to play that way with me? Would you kiss me if I wear the hat? Fits like a bucket. Too bad it doesn't fit like a Panama jacket. Now, are you better off? Pushing it back? Well, I see most people tilt it backwards like this. Tilt it back a I think it depends on the mood. Like my wife, when she's shopping, you know, and she's been in there and she's spent thousands of dollars, she's been in there for two hours, I do one of these. Exactly. <laughs> I know his name, Chewbacca. Oh, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Oh, the Loch Ness Monster is here. All right, all my San Francisco faithful. Is it Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli? Huh. Let's go find out. Yeah. Is it Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli? I guess it depends who you talk to. I heard it both ways, Ghirardelli. Really? Either way. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a hard hard G or soft G. What do you say? Hard G or soft G? Gear Adeli. Gear, hard G. She's with the hard G. What about you? Hard G or soft G? I'm English, I can. He doesn't care. Just get him to the pub. There is one. Yes, there is one. In uh, Epcot. No, here. Oh. I passed it, yes sir. Okay. It's called, it's kind of a pub, you know. Yeah. It's a Disney pub, but it's the closest thing you'll get. Right. The one in Epcot is pretty good. It's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At what part of, you're from England? Yeah, yeah, North, North England. North England. So uh, you're used to this weather then, huh? Not like this. No. I mean, it rains, it just drizzles. 
just like forever. Guys, I'm going to tell you what, I'm walking around here, I'm evaluating this place, and I'm going to give you my take on it. You know, taking the family to Disney, or even going by yourself, or as a couple, it, it's expensive here, right? Entering the parks, getting the four-day passes, they have deals, so I'm not saying it's not, you know, it's not worth it, it's not a good value. You come here, you're going to have the time of your life, probably. But... You can come here and walk around this place, and guys, I feel like I'm in Disney World right now, and it didn't cost me a dime to get in here. And I mean, there's nothing saying you gotta eat or drink or buy things. It's fun to shop and go into these places and look around, but you could really do this on the cheap if you wanted to. The parking is free. You could just come in here and walk around and get that Disney feeling. Okay, the guy that was in the car that was on the water, he didn't mistake it for a boat. This is it right here. This is the launching pad. Check this out. Wow. All right. Didn't Batman have a boat like that? Batman has everything. Oh yeah. I gotta get. I gotta get you with the pictures too. That's called an amphicar. It's got seaweed in the undercarriage. It's not every day you see somebody wearing a life vest in an automobile. See the propellers in the back. There they go. Oh. Remember the old Volkswagen commercial like that, where the uh, Volkswagen went in the water and it floated? Try looking at a Volkswagen this way. It's the only small car with a sealed steel bottom. It's practically airtight. What other car gives you this kind of quality, kind of price? Uh, must have been a water bug. Guys, I don't know what the uh, big attraction is with this Gideon's Bakehouse, but I'm gonna see if they'll let me in. Can I just show them what's going on in here? Unfortunately not. What is it? What's the? I understand. Um, what's what's the attraction here? Why are so many? Yeah, big half pound cookies, giant cake slabs, golden coffee. All kinds of it smells amazing. Oh, yeah. You guys gotta stay here and smell that all day. I know. I smell amazing right now. <laughs> do, you, do you do you get oblivious to it after a while? Yeah, you, you don't need any perfume though. Oh, exactly. So much fun. Have fun, ladies. Thank you. Guys, I got a sugar rush from the smell. I'm telling you, no exaggeration. It's unbelievable. The smell of cookie and dough coming out of that door when it opened for three seconds. It looks closed. Can I still get in anyway? I'm gonna try. There's no chain or rope. Sorry, I'm not barefoot for this one. What was that Jack from Titanic said? I'm the king of the world! I'll tell you what guys, come up here. Some great views. I guess this place isn't open right now. I see what looks like some employees in there. Maybe getting ready for dinner. 
pretty cool little bar here. I just spoke to one of the employees on camera, guys, and he told me that uh, depending on weather, it will open at 6 p.m., so pretty soon. I tell you what, I much prefer this to downtown Orlando. I, there's more to do here, and it feels pretty safe and festive and fun. And I feel like I feel like I should have paid to get in here. Honestly, it kind of feels like that. I'm just so programmed for that when it comes to Disney stuff. And this is great. I mean, I you know. They don't really have the rides and that kind of thing, but there's a lot of interactive stuff. And it's great to just walk around here. Onward and downward.